Okay, so why did you choose Kotlin? Um, recently, you can hear a lot uh, about modern languages, uh, better languages than Java. And uh, the main reason was that I was simply curious about uh, those languages and I thought I could uh, try one of them. And I decided to use Kotlin because um, it's created by JetBrains, which is a quite known company. Um, they are creators of uh, tools like IntelliJ, for example. And uh, I also heard that it's uh, quite easy to integrate with, uh, with Android and Java itself. So that's, that's the main reasons. Can you say how hard was it to migrate from Java to Kotlin? Um, it was hard at the beginning. It took about 50 hours, I would say, to feel comfortable with Kotlin. So it's like a full week of uh, coding at work. And um, the thing is that uh, with Kotlin it's, it's a completely different approach uh, you have to take uh, than with Java. Some features are not available uh, in Java, some, some in Kotlin. Um, so so it's, uh, you have to change your mind, I would say. But beside that, it's, uh, it wasn't that, that hard after those 50 hours. Okay. And it's getting easier and easier every day. <laughs> Which Kotlin features do you like the most? Um, there is many of them, I would say, uh, but uh, I will I will pick some. Uh, first one is I would say null safety feature, uh, which isn't available in Java, and it's about uh, explicit, explicitly um, specifying whether some objects can be null or not, and that forces you to think about it when you code and get rid of. Uh, surprises like null, point, null pointer exceptions and I also like uh, simple um, class definitions in Kotlin you can have very small classes like uh, you create Pojo classes that are very short just few lines of code and where in case of Java sometimes it takes like uh, dozens and hundreds of lines of code to, to create a sim simple class and another feature very important are lambdas, which are not supported in Java, I guess, at least in um, Android Java. Um, but it's available in Kotlin and it is very useful, especially if you use uh, reactive programming, like uh, Eric's Java libraries, then it makes coding really, really simpler and uh, the code is much shorter. So I use lambdas like every time, whenever I can, also for different listeners, for example, like click listeners. So I don't have to introduce any uh, too many anonymous classes. I simply uh, create brackets and implement, implement inside what I need. Okay. And another feature are things like smart casts um, and um, function extensions, for example. So those are, those are my favorite features. Uh, did you encounter any problems with Kotlin? Actually, most of the problems I had come from the fact uh, that I wasn't used to writing Kotlin and I had some habits from, from Java I had to get rid of. Um, but beside that, uh, I don't see much problem with Kotlin and it's really pleasant to work with. And of course, I have to mention one, one big issue that uh, JetBrain is currently working on, which is uh, much slower uh, build time and compilation time comparing to Java. So yeah, I guess that uh, everybody should be aware of this. And they would blame me otherwise <laughs> if I wouldn't mention this. Uh, but I hope JetBrains will fix it very soon. And then it will beat Java in 100%. Do you have any tips for Java developers? Uh, yeah, sure I have. Um, first one, if you use a new safety feature, and you can use either uh, question marks or exclamation marks uh, after your object and I suggest to use uh, exclam exclamation marks first uh, which will behave exactly like having null pointer exception from and if you are 100% sure that uh, you can call a function and you don't have to care if it's null or not you can use question marks uh, another thing is about statics. Uh, don't use in your code uh, statics from the higher API than your minimum SDK because it will crash on uh, devices with lower API where this uh, static is not available. 
And another thing about statics that um, subclasses does not inherit uh, static values, so you cannot access static value from the subclass. You have to do it directly where it was specified. And another thing is um, about referential equality. It's uh, different than in Java. In Java, you use uh, two equal signs, right, to compare objects if it's the same or not. And in Kotlin, you have to use three equal signs because two will work exactly like calling an equal function on your on your objects. Um, yeah, that's it. I think that's uh, what you need to know. Yeah. Wow.